Kajabi as standard will populate their own logo and branding throughout your site until such a time as you place your own there. It can be quite frustrating trying to find the right place to update things, so that's what this tutorial is about. It's to help you get directly to Kajabi branding so you can replace it with your own. So the first thing I'd like to do is click in settings in the bottom left hand corner. Now I'm using my partner site as an example to show you, but yours will look very similar. So now I'd like you to click on site settings. Once on site settings, scroll down until you see branding. Here we go. This allows you to update your logo and your favicon into the site, because if you don't place it here, Kajabi will place their own there. Throughout pages, Kajabi will call on the site settings to say, has this Kajabi user provided us with their logo or their favicon so we can update it into the site? So really, it's a nice branding foundation for you. So let's go ahead and add in logo. And save. And I already have a favicon in place here. If you're at all unsure what a favicon is, then you just need to look into the tabs at the top of your website, but anything that you have open will show a little branded icon to reflect that website. So you'll recognize Kajabi up here, their little icon. This is an opportunity for you to have an equivalent so it sits in any website tab a visitor has open for your site. Okay, now we've got this loaded in here. If you are on a plan where you have the ability to remove the Kajabi powered by in the bottom right hand corner of every page of your site, then you're in the right place. You just need to scroll lower and at the very bottom here, you'll see the opportunity to untick powered by branding. Next, let's go to our website. Then I want you to click down to pages. And now let's just open up a page as an example because once you know how to do it on one page you'll be able to do this on any page that you create. So I'm going to go ahead and click customize beside my home page here. This will largely look exactly as a brand new Kajabi page will. If you played around with yours and it doesn't look exactly like this that's okay. Just go through the motions that I'm going to show you because some of this may well still apply. First, let's go to the logo. You can either hover and click, or we can go into header in the left-hand sidebar, scroll down and click into logo. So this is the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say upload new file. And again, I'm gonna go for that website logo that I have saved. It will then bring it into my page. Another nice thing to do at this stage is change the image alt attribute. It's, it's linked to SEO and it's just a really small, quick win. Now, you probably noticed that the logo has been loaded in for me, but it is very small. You might need to do the same as me. Below where I've just added Digital Bumpkin, it says lo logo image width. I'm gonna change mine to 250 and let's see what that looks like. Quite a nice size. Now, you'll see that my logo is looking a little fuzzy, so what I would probably do is get a better quality one and load it in. So just look out for these little things that you can do to make sure you're appear appearing as professional as possible. But for the sake of this tutorial, let's just carry on. Below that, you'll see logo text. Again, add your brand name in here to replace Encore. And then I want you to click Save. Throughout the page, visually, you will see all of this is Kajabi. We're not going to go into how to design your own page, but one very quick win is to look at the colours. You'll see if we go ahead and add a button into this page here, you'll see that is a Kajabi branded blue. If you click back at the top until you see the main sidebar, then click into settings, and now let's click into style guide. Here you'll find colors that you can update. So you can actually choose your primary color and I'm gonna click on button background color. I'm gonna choose my yellow and then click save. You'll then notice 
it updates and because it's such a, a pale yellow the text isn't obvious so I'm going to change my text color to black just to make it stand out. Now that has hidden the Kajabi blue that we wanted to and it will do for any future button that I add to my page. Now I want you to scroll to the very bottom of the site and this is our footer. As you can see we're seeing a lot of Kajabi. First of all I'm going to click hover and click over here and I'm going to put digital pumpkin. If you were limited you would put limited at this point. Now here I'm also going to hover over the logo that they've placed there and I'm going to upload new file and I'm going to add again my website logo. Fab. Again you might want to make yours a touch bigger too and if I were doing this a bit more time on my hands I would probably choose a logo that was white text with a black background just so it looks a little better against that colour. Fab! Now that's the main branding removed. We're looking, scrolling through the page, other than images, text and general website design, that's the foundational branding that we've got covered. The other area that I notice is often missed that I would love us to go through today is your product. So let's click down to products and let's click onto a course as an example. Now. I want you to click on to customize just here below the word online course. Again, click on customize. Fab. Again, you'll see a lot of Kajabi branding being pulled through at this point. So let's hover over the logo first of all, or as we did just now, click into header and we'll find logo image. Upload new file. Website logo for me. I'm going to change the text. So now I'm going to do the button just as we did before. I'm going to click back till I see the main sidebar. Click into settings and click into color scheme. And I'm going to change primary to whichever color I want my actions to be, my call to actions on the main color of the product. Now, adding our favicon into the site settings is automatically pulled through onto the website page. However, in the product, if we preview this, it is actually pulling it through because I have it in there. But what you'll need to do is click onto settings, favicon, and then choose your little brand icon. Now, images, etc., are Kajabi branding that you'll want to update. Hover here, you'll see it brings up the little dash blue lines. If I click background image, it even tells me the dimensions I want to add. So this is another place that you can very quickly add in a background image for yourself. Now let's scroll to the bottom, the footer, same again as before. I'm going to change this to reflect my brand and I'm going to your social icons. This is another good one to update. If I click on Facebook, you'll see that they've placed their social links. All you need to do is find your page, your profile and place it in here. I know that mine is, for example, this and the same Instagram and if I I don't use Twitter so I would remove that and actually for Facebook I would also put my personal profile I prefer it to a branded page there we go very quickly if you've got YouTube or any of the rest simply add them in there okay there we go those are the key areas that I see are often missed when designing your own Kajabi website. I hope you found that helpful and if you're on a roll and you'd like some more training and tutorials on how to progress in your Kajabi online business then here is another video for you.